What's up everyone, it's Corbin, and today I'm here with the leftover Halo 5 weapons in Halo Infinite. So, by people's requests, I have compiled this into one video, and I'm just gonna show everything off. First off, we got the Hunter Arm Cannon, and this is in spew mode. And next off, we got George's Machine Gun Turret. You might notice a lot of the effects are messed up or deprecated. Same with the projectiles, the impact effects, and the muzzle flashes. The weapons, models, and behavior is pretty spot on though. You know, I was thinking though, perhaps I should make a mod where all the cut, you know, weapons as well as the leftover Halo 5 weapons, uh, projectiles and effects do look proper how they should and like they did in Halo 5. Cause right now I'm just showing you how they appeared when they were left over. But let me know what you think. Would you guys like that? Cause I could probably make those IRTV files and release them. But next we got the M45 shotgun from Halo 5. This behaves pretty much like it did. It even has a flashlight on it. Now there's just something I love about a short range shotgun. The powerfulness of it, it just always felt so right in Halo, and it's perfect when there's a sword. There's nothing better about this shotgun in shoddy snipes either. But next we got the golf club. Now they also have a golf tee, a golf ball hole, a golf ball, <laughs> and all that stuff in the files. Uh, they were only the models with no bitmaps, so I just didn't even bother. They're also in an old video I posted. Uh, but instead you got the skull that likes to just get tossed around, so I use that instead. But everything works pretty much like you would expect. The effects are kind of messed up when you hit. It blacks you out. Next up, we got the saw. Now this does not reload properly, and it it's a little bit, you know, weird, besides not having projectiles like the other weapons. But it behaves mostly like it did. And also looks proper. Sorry, I had to take care of something. But, um, anyways, we got the Flagnum. That red box is actually the Magnum. <laughs> and the flag is, well, here you go. Whenever you uh, pick this thing up, you can shoot your invisible magnum. I'm not sure if I could bring this one fully back, but we'll see what we can do. Also, as you can see, we got another hunter arm cannon. This is the normal version that's not on speed. Behaves much like this fuel rod right here, which is also a leftover Halo 5 weapon. Now, honestly, this gun feels fun in this game. I had a lot of fun using it. I hope they bring it back in for some future content. Alright, so next up, we got the Rocket Pod. This Rocket Pod was in Halo 5 as well. It shoots a couple or a few rockets, man, it's pretty badass. But what's even more cool is the Goss Turret. Now, I do miss Goss Cannons and Goss Turrets in Halo, which it's one of the coolest, you know turrets I think they had in Halo, since Halo 2. But that's everything, guys. Um, I missed a couple weapons, I guess, so I kind of stole them from the Alpha Archive, so please go check his videos out if you haven't already. He always posts stuff like this as soon as possible. There's also one in Campaign that was used as a placeholder. You can see it's uh, the old incineration cannon with what looks to be low poly, but... That's about it, guys. Um, do you guys, by the way, do you guys know how to get these weapons in custom games? 
because you can actually play with these weapons all online with your friends. If you like me to show you how to do that, I will make a tutorial. Let me know. It's Corbin. See you on the next one. Peace out.